there, Sparkly One. Are you searching for natural remedies to enhance your health and vitality? Learn how essential oils can be your daily allies in achieving holistic wellness. Tune in as we unlock the transformative potential of essential oils. Welcome to the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. Before we dive in into the aromatic world of essential oils, let me introduce myself. I'm Dee Diaz, an integrative nutrition health coach, essential oil specialist, and your host on the Sparkling Life Coach Podcast. And I'm so happy you're here today because I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite subjects. I know I said that last week too, but it's true. I have such a passion for the value of nutrition and the power of essential oils in transforming our health and wellness journey to a life that's healthier, happier, and more vibrant. I've been passionate about nutrition, natural remedies, and the power of essential oils for years. So I'm excited to share the captivating world of essential oils with you. So if you're just taking your first steps, my intention is to make this a delightful, informative, and best of all, an easy peasy experience for you. So join me as we delve into the realm of essential oils and unveil their captivating potential for your well-being. I've got some vibrant company here today while we chat. My shelves are packed with essential oils and each one holds its own secret and potential to enhance our lives. Now, before we dive into the enchanting world of essential oils today, I want you to imagine that you're in a lush, sun-dappled forest or a meadow painted with a myriad of colors and the soothing sounds of nature all around. This is where our journey begins, deep in the heart of nature. We're about to uncover the ancient secrets of these tiny aromatic wonders that have been used for centuries in achieving holistic wellness. So let me give you a little history. I talk more about this on the welcome episode if you haven't heard that one yet. But my journey into the world of essential oils started as a quest for natural remedies. That's when I discovered the power of essential oils. I began incorporating oils like the On Guard Protective Blend, peppermint essential oil, lemon and frankincense essential oils into my daily routine. These essential oils lifted my spirits, boosted my energy, and helped me to increase the sparkle in my life. In fact, besides my faith, they've played such a pivotal role in my life and my health transformation, and I've learned so much that I can't wait to pass this knowledge on to you. First things first, some of you may be asking, what in the world are essential oils and why is there such a buzz about them in the wellness world? Essential oils are like nature's hidden treasures. They're the essence of a plant. Inside many plants hidden in the roots, the seeds, the flowers, and the bark are highly concentrated, potent, and pure aromatic compounds. Essential oils are what give a plant its scent, and it protects the plant from hazardous environmental conditions, and they even assist the plant with pollination. And so this is what's extracted, distilled, and prepared for you to bring the power of nature into your home. They're like nature's bottled gifts of the earth for us. Did you know that essential oils have been used for centuries by ancient civilizations across the globe? Yes, essential oils aren't really new. They've been a part of human history for centuries. Imagine the ancient Egyptians using oils like frankincense and myrrh for their sacred rituals. Or the Greeks and the Romans exploring the therapeutic benefits of essential oils. These little wonderful elixirs have been used worldwide for aromatherapy, for personal care, healthcare practices, religious ceremonies, 
beauty treatments, food preparation, and all sorts of self-care practices for ages. Now, fast forward to today, where essential oils have even found a place in our modern lives. But you might wonder, why should I care about essential oils? Well, sparkling one, it's because they offer a natural way to support your health and well-being. Let me give you an example. First, picture yourself in a serene lavender field. Imagine you're walking through that field surrounded by the soothing fragrance of lavender essential oil. The scent, the calm, the peace, the harmony and balance, that's what essential oils can bring into your life. Lavender essential oil is one of my personal favorites, although you're going to hear me say that a lot when it comes to essential oils, but lavender really is a personal favorite. And it isn't just about the lovely scent, although it has an amazing aroma, but lavender essential oil has been studied for its calming and stress-reducing effects. It also contains elements that make it effective for soothing skin irritations. And some studies even suggest that it can improve sleep quality and promote a restful environment for sleep. In fact, it's the one I use daily at bedtime. I've also had countless reports from my clients informing me how they've been able to find peace and relaxation with lavender essential oil. Some oils, like tea tree oil, have powerful antiseptic properties, making them fantastic for skin care and for keeping your home squeaky clean. Other oils, such as Breathe Respiratory Blend, or eucalyptus are known for their respiratory benefits, helping you to breathe easily, especially during the winter months or when seasonal threats are high. And here's a fascinating fact. Certified pure tested grade essential oils are so highly concentrated that they're 50 to 70 times more powerful than their equivalent herb. For instance, Just one drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to 28 cups of herbal peppermint tea. Can you believe that? That's the potency of these little bottles. So as you'll see, essential oils are not just another passing wellness trend. They are backed by centuries of tradition and scientific studies, and they offer real benefits for your health. We're talking about a holistic approach to wellness that has been cherished for centuries. Now, a quick disclaimer, I'm not a physician. So before making any changes to your diet, lifestyle, or health practices based on the information presented, make sure to consult with a qualified healthcare professional, especially if you have health concerns. Deal? Okay, well, my goal of sharing this information is to empower you with knowledge because these little bottles of goodness have been such a pivotal part of my life. And I want to help you create your own exciting experiences with them. So now that we're getting a taste of what essential oils can do, let's talk about the basics. Essential oils can be used in a variety of ways. And you don't have to be an expert to enjoy all the benefits that essential oils offer. All you need is a basic understanding of how to apply them safely as part of your daily routine. So I'm going to share three cool things about essential oils. Then I'll cover three easy ways to use them safely so you can incorporate them into your daily routine. And before we end, I'll share with you a link that will unlock 25% off on all your essential oil products for a year. So definitely stay tuned for that. So let's jump into the three cool things about essential oils. So the first cool thing about essential oils is that they're safe. And this is a really big deal, right? Because if you've ever been on a medication, there's usually a long list of side effects that go along with that medication, right? 
this medication might help with this issue, but then you have to worry about X, Y, and Z happening to you because of taking it. And sometimes the side effects seem to be worse than the symptoms you're taking it for, right? Or you have to worry about getting addicted to it. So what I love about essential oils for health support is that they're 100% natural and safe without side effects and no addictions. Now, of course, we're all bio-individuals, right? So some people may have some sensitivities a bit more than most of us. And in that case, they may need to dilute the essential oil with a carrier oil. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But essential oils are safe because they come from plant extracts. And we all know how beneficial plants are for us, right? Most plants have amazing health benefits. Now, when it comes to essential oils, purity is key. I always recommend looking for essential oils that are certified pure, tested grade. This means that the essential oils are harvested purely and they're pure, potent, and safe since they haven't been adulterated with fillers or contaminated with synthetic chemicals. It also means that they've gone through a rigorous testing process. And when essential oils are harvested purely, when they're tested for purity and potency, then we can be sure that the essential oil will do exactly what they were meant to do for our bodies. And so the essential oil supplier I choose to partner with adds nothing to their oils. They're just pure, unadulterated essential oils. I can't say that about most essential oils on the market. Sad to say, studies have shown that up to 85% or more of essential oils you'll find on the market today are adulterated. That's a huge number. This makes them a chemical substance that you don't want to use in the ways that I'm going to share with you today. So please, please, please do not take the instructions I'm sharing with you today and then go out and buy an adulterated essential oil and try to use them in the way I'm going to describe to you today, unless they're CPTG essential oils, certified, pure, tested, great. Okay. Okay. So the first cool thing is that essential oils are safe, right? The second cool thing is that they're effective. Ever wonder how essential oils work within our cells? Well, unlike water-soluble synthetics, essential oils are oil-based, so they can permeate the cell membranes. This is what makes them particularly effective, helping the cell fight off attacks on our system and supporting it in staying healthy. It's like having a natural defense mechanism within our body. So whether we put oils in our bodies or on our bodies, they get into the bloodstream and are able to move throughout our bodies very quickly to help us feel better. Another of my favorite essential oils that I use on a daily basis is the On Guard Protective Blend. It's a powerhouse essential oil supporting the immune system by keeping it balanced and helping to keep our bodies healthy. Now, the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're affordable. You know, sometimes people look at these little 15 mil bottles and say the essential oils are expensive. But think about it. You're investing in natural plant medicine that costs just pennies per dose. It's like having an arsenal of goodness at your fingertips. Essential oils are not only cost-effective, but they're also versatile. Lavender, for instance, is a natural support for seasonal threats, calming the mind, and it also promotes mental tranquility and relaxation, as well as it's wonderful for calming occasional skin discomfort and reducing the appearance of skin imperfections. And when you compare the cost of oils to traditional synthetic items you would use, you'll find that essential oils save you time, money, and energy. 
Now, you'll probably find cheaper oils on the market because I've seen them even at the dollar store. <laughs> Please don't get your essential oils from the dollar store. But here's the catch. If you're not using CPTG essential oil, certified pure, tested great essential oils, then you're not going to experience the true power of these natural wonders. It's like eating a bowl of Fruit Loops and saying it's the same thing as eating a bowl of fruit. It's just not as healthy, is it? Invest in high quality oils, even if they cost a little more. The percentage of benefits you'll receive from them in return is well worth the cost, for real. And you're going to find that when you use a good quality essential oil, you won't need to use as much. You'll only need one or two drops in most cases. And when you do the math, it's actually only pennies per drop because a 15 ml bottle has about 250 drops. So you're getting about 125 servings from each little bottle. So as I mentioned, if you're ready to try these certified pure tested great essential oils, I'll leave a special link in the show notes that'll get you 25% off from my favorite essential oil supplier, the one that I choose to partner with because of their pursuit of purity. So there you have it, sparkling ones. Essential oils are safe, they're effective, and affordable. These three pillars make them an incredible addition to your health and wellness routine. So now let's talk about the three ways to use essential oils. The first way is aromatically, through smell. It's scientific that essential oils positively affect your mood. I want you to touch the bridge of your nose, that bone right there between your eyes. There's actually a nerve in there. This is the olfactory nerve, and it connects to the limbic system of your brain, and it actually has the power to change how we think and how we feel. And to prove that's true, think about when you go to the dentist. Some will use laughing gas to get you relaxed, right? If your emotions go out of control, it'll help get you totally relaxed and chill. They don't give you a pill or a shot for the most part, right? Or if you're having surgery, they put on the mask asking you to count to 10, right? Now, these are synthetic compounds that you're breathing in. And the reason why it works is this smell portion it connects to the olfactory nerve and then tells our brain what to do. In this case, it tells it to calm down. And so now you understand how it is that we can diffuse and inhale essential oils to positively affect our mood. And this is super important because I don't know about you, but my mood changes every day. <laughs> and sometimes it could even be a couple times a day. There's just tough moments sometimes, right? Maybe worries for our safety and health, the cost of living, our families. There seems to always be something to worry about or to upset our mood. So I love diffusing, especially to positively affect our mood and to lift heart heaviness. And so I just put water up to the fill line in the diffuser, and then put a couple drops of essential oils in with the water, and it'll disperse essential oils throughout the air. So one of my most recent favorite essential oils to use in this instance is the Adaptive Calming Blend. I love using this essential oil a lot lately, especially for aromatic use. This oil you can put in a diffuser and it's going to help with improved sustained attention while easing the mind, which means that when you smell it, you're not going to be like, oh, now I'm sleepy. No, it's not like that. But it is going to calm you and help you to stay focused, whether we're working from the office or from home. We can also use it for a massage to ease nervous feelings. So you can massage it on yourself, over your heart, 
over your shoulders, or even better, if you can find someone in your household to do it for you. It's called adaptive for a reason, because it's going to help you to adapt when things aren't easy, especially when you're dealing with things that are difficult to comprehend. And we all have moments throughout our life where we need to adapt, right? This time especially feels really heavy for many of us. We're finding it difficult to adapt and to feel grounded. Wouldn't you agree? But typically in life, we're faced with adjustments every day. And so this essential oil is going to help you stay grounded and keep the stress away. You don't have a diffuser, you say? No worries. Did you know that you already have a diffuser with you at all times? Yes, we have our hands. Just apply a drop in the palm of your hands, rub them together, and then cup them over your face and just breathe it in. You're going to inhale deeply, take six to 10 deep breaths, and this is going to calm the heart and the mind before you move on to the next thing that you have to do. And it doesn't take very long, so you can do it at any time, anywhere. And we also use oils aromatically to support the respiratory system because when we're breathing in oils, they're going in our bodies. So breathe the respiratory blend helps the lungs and the sinus. It opens up clear breathing. This is another one that works well in the diffuser day or night. And I especially like putting a drop over the bridge of my nose first thing in the morning when there are high seasonal threats. So number one, essential oils can be used aromatically. If you're getting value from this episode, please consider subscribing wherever you're consuming this content, whether it's the audio version or on our YouTube podcast channel. And would you also give the video a thumbs up? If you're listening to the podcast, please consider supporting the channel by following, rating, and reviewing the podcast. And don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And then every Friday, you'll get a brand new episode to help you increase the sparkle in your life with integrated health, nutrition, and essential oil tips. Thanks, Bunches, for your support. Now, let's get back to today's episode. Now, let's move on to the second way to use essential oils. Topically, we put oils on our skin topically to affect our bodies for localized benefits. So, for example, if you have head or neck tension, then I would rub the essential oil on my shoulder, my neck, because that's where it aches. And that's where my muscles are pulling tight when I'm feeling it. So the types of conditions you might use essential oils topically for are things like hot flashes or on your knees and joints to support with minor aches, muscles, and joint pains. It's great if you're experiencing minor back and neck aches. You can also place them on your chest, the bridge of your nose, as I mentioned, and any skin stuff like bug bites. There's all kinds of things, big and small, for which we can use essential oils topically. Now, a great essential oil to use topically is the Deep Blue Soothing Blend. This one is great for soothing achy muscles and joints, and it helps to ease head tension. And for us ladies at that time of the month, when you have cramping, this works really well to assist with that. Another thing I like to use topically is fractionated coconut oil. We believe this is something everyone should have for a few reasons. It helps you spread the oils out, So for example, we talked about using breathe aromatically, but this is one that would work well topically too. You could apply it to the chest to open up airways, open up the lungs and sinuses and help reduce snoring. One drop of the oil on the chest would definitely help with that. However, one drop of essential oil is going to evaporate pretty quickly, almost before it gets from your hands to the body. It doesn't spread out very well because it gets absorbed so quickly into the body. 
However, if we use fractionated coconut oil, just put a little puddle of coconut oil in the palm of our hand and then a drop of the essential oil. Now what we've created is the ability to spread that potent drop all over the area of need. We can rub it on the chest, on the feet, Fractionated coconut oil also protects the skin, especially for those who have sensitive skin. Now, I love the cooling sensation of peppermint, but that might be too much for your skin. So you can dilute it with the coconut oil and you won't feel that intense cooling, heating feeling. We also like to use coconut oil when we make a mistake. So for example, have you ever been chopping jalapenos and then accidentally touched your face or brushed your cheek or your eyes? Yeah, that's not much fun. Well, that can happen with essential oils too. You might apply one of the hot oils like peppermint and then not think twice about it and touch your eye. Well, you can put some coconut oil right on top and it will dilute it and it'll help to take away any discomfort. So I love using coconut oil topically. But keep in mind, diluting doesn't mean that it reduces its potency. It just means that it helps to spread it better and actually it helps it to be absorbed in the skin a little better because it gives it some weight so there's not so much flash. So more of the essential oil gets into the skin and less to evaporate into the air. So we love diluting our essential oils with a fractionated coconut oil for best result. One caution I'd like to make on topical use is with the citrus oils. Most citrus oils are photosensitive. So what that means is that you should not apply a citrus oil topically and then go out and sit in the sun. You should wait at least 12 hours after application. This is not a suggestion. This is a strongly worded encouragement. Do not apply a citrus essential oil on your skin and then go sit in the sun and sun yourself. You should wait 12 hours before doing that. Now, the third way we can use essential oils is internally. So now, if you're using a certified pure tested grade essential oil. It's safe to use this essential oil internally because they're the most tested and trusted essential oils on the planet. Certified pure tested grade essential oils are meant to be enjoyed internally. You can put them in water. However, if you're using essential oils in your water, we want to caution you to only use stainless steel glass, or ceramic. Please do not use plastic water bottles or containers because what oils do in our bodies is it helps to break down petrochemicals and toxins and gently remove them out of our bodies, which is an awesome way to detox and bring health to our bodies. Well, it does the same thing in the plastic bottle. It's going to start to break down the petrochemicals of the plastic bottle because they naturally break down foreign things. And then those petrochemicals are going to seep into your water and then you're going to drink that water. So you're drinking the plastic. Yeah, we don't want you to do that. <laughs> that would be counterintuitive to what we're supposed to be doing, right? Okay, so promise me you're not going to put your essential oils in plastic. We want the oils to go in our bodies and get the yucky stuff out and support the good stuff because the oils will always bring our bodies to a state of homeostasis or balance. They don't know how to do anything else. They support the body in doing what it's supposed to do to bring you, your body back into balance. You can also use essential oils in veggie caps. Empty veggie caps are great, especially if you want to blend your oils together and take them all at once like you would a supplement. So you would put a couple oils in the capsule and then take it like you would your vitamins. So you can make your own little homemade capsules based on how you'd like to support your body's needs. Another way to use essential oils internally is sublingually. So you can put it directly under your tongue. 
I take a lot of oils that way if I don't mind the taste of the oil. If I don't like the taste of the essential oil, I'll put it in a veggie cap. For example, Digest Zen is a digestive blend. It's one of those oils that I use a lot internally. This is the oil for the belly. A lot of people take a drop right under their tongue after they eat to help relieve occasional or mild heartburn or acid indigestion. Also, it's great for occasional upset stomach. It aids in digestion and it alleviates gas or bloating. You can also use it as a tea. So warm up some water and then add one drop to the hot water, but don't heat the oil, heat the water first. And then you can add a natural sweetener if you like, something like raw honey or agave. Lots of people love sipping on this after a meal to help with digestion. I personally don't like the taste of this oil because it tastes like black licorice, which I'm not very fond of, but it works so well that I definitely use it a lot. So this is one that I'll either put in a veggie cap or I'll just use it topically right on my belly. I use this one daily. And seriously, if you eat, you need this oil. <laughs> this is a great one to use for the kiddos too. You can dilute it with fractionated coconut oil and apply it on their belly and their lower back. And it's gentle enough for them. And if you put Digestin in the diffuser, it's going to really help to clear sinuses or you can use it topically for that. Lemon is another great one to use internally. And I want to encourage you all to use this in your water every single day. Every time you drink water, just one or two drops in your glass or stainless steel bottle. No plastic, right? <laughs> Lemon essential oil helps to alkaline your body. And when your body is alkaline, then we're less likely to get sick. If our bodies are acidic, then we're more likely to get sick. And now more than ever, we need to stay healthy. We need to keep ourselves healthy and we need to keep working on strengthening our immune systems now. Let's not wait until something goes wrong, right? We're going to prepare and prevent. And lemon is a great cleanser for the body. This is one of the ones that's really good for pulling petrochemicals or plastics from our body. So this is necessary for everyone because we all have toxins in our body. So it's going to unclog our bodies on a cellular level. So you'll feel energized when you drink lemon essential oil in your water. It's also a great cleanser for the home. It helps to disinfect and kill germs on surfaces. And I love to add a couple of drops to my washcloth to wipe down the surfaces after a meal and the counters. And it makes the whole kitchen smell clean and fresh and bright. And then it has the bonus that everyone that smells it gets happier too. <laughs> and then last, but certainly not least, I wanted to talk about frankincense essential oil. This one is a great one to take internally. Frankincense is considered the king of all the oils. This one does all the things. If you don't know what to use, we say, when in doubt, use frankincense. It truly does everything. It helps to promote calm feelings and quiets the mind. It's a natural sedative for the body, very grounding like most of the tree oils are. It's awesome for anti-aging. So I put a drop with fractionated coconut oil on my skin at night. You can use fractionated coconut oil on your face and it's not greasy at all. And it helps our cells perform optimally. So sometimes when our cells are damaged and aren't performing the way that they should, frankincense will come in and help to remind your cells to restore natural cell function to the way that they're supposed to be, which is Amazing. So this is definitely one of the oils that you'll want to use every day. Now, just to clarify, we're not saying that these oils are going to cure anything. 
What we're saying is that when you support your body with things that are healthful for it, your body is going to be able to accomplish what it needs to accomplish. It will be supported and it will be strengthened to do what it's supposed to do. Ask yourself, what can we give ourselves and our loved ones that will give us better quality of life? And I say certified pure Tested Great Essential Oils is a great place to start. So the three simple ways we can use essential oils, first way was aromatically through smell, right? You can diffuse them to fill your space with delightful aromas or apply a drop to your hands, cup your hands together and inhale directly from them. The second way was topically on your skin. This allows the oil to absorb into the skin. So great to use for a massage or if you want to apply it to targeted areas and rub it in, you can also add it to lotions and moisturizers. And the third way we talked about was internally by ingesting them. This allows the oil to be transported throughout the body, but be very cautious and informed if you choose to do so. As I already mentioned, I would only take essential oils internally only after I've made sure that I'm using essential oils that are certified pure, tested grade essential oil and that they're safe for internal use first. And then try using them by adding them to your glass of water or taking it in a veggie cap or putting a drop under your tongue. And if you're ever in question, just read your labels. The bottles will indicate how to use it. If an oil is safe for internal use, the bottle is labeled with supplement facts and the use instructions. So if the lab label has ingredients listed and says for aromatic and topical use only, it's not for internal use. Some plants are just not good for consuming. So always check your label. It's not hard to figure that out. Now, when I talk about essential oils, I like to use the 80-20 principle. This means that 80% of the time, you're going to use essential oils for everyday wellness, like promoting relaxation, reducing tension, or supporting a healthy immune system. But for that extra 20%, that's where essential oils really shine. Think of specific concerns like muscle discomfort, digestive issues, or emotional support. That's where essential oils really sparkle. For example, imagine you're preparing for a big presentation and you feel those nerves creeping in. That's where the 20% comes into play. A few drops of a calming essential oil blend, like the Serenity Restful Blend or Adaptive Calming Blend, can help you stay calm, focused, grounded, and serene. Now, the truth is, there's nothing like the power of personal experience. I can tell you all about essential oils until I'm blue in the face, but it's the power of personal experience. That's the key to unlocking the true potential of essential oils. So don't be afraid to experiment. Find what works for you and make it a part of your daily routine. I've seen clients transform their lives by incorporating certified pure tested great essential oils into their wellness journey. And even in my own life and the life of my family too. To this day, I still find it incredible how a simple drop of a certified pure tested great essential oil can be a catalyst for change in my health and wellness. So sparkling one, although I'm here to guide you on this beautiful journey of self-discovery and well-being, I want you to remember that your experiences and your personal journey are what make essential oils truly powerful. So we uncover the three cool things to remember about essential oils, that they're safe, if you're using certified pure tested grade oils, that they're extremely effective and potent, because a little goes a long way, and they're affordable. 
because when you use a CPTG oil, you don't need to use so much. One to two drops will do. We also learned the three ways to use oils, aromatic, topical, and internal. But remember, if you're going to use them internally, purity is paramount. The key lies in the purity and the quality of the essential oil. And we've only scratched the surface of the enchanting world of essential oils because I promise to keep it easy peasy, but this is just the beginning of our adventure with essential oils. I hope this introduction has left you feeling inspired and curious, but now I'd love to hear your story too. Hope that you'll connect with us and tell us about your first encounter with essential oils, why you love them, or are you just dipping your toes into this aromatic world? Please, I hope you'll share your experiences in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and connect. Now, let's continue the conversation over on the Facebook group, or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment on the Facebook group or on our YouTube channel, or drop us a line at podcast at sparklinglifecoach.com. And as promised, if you'd like to try one or more of these essential oils, check the show notes for the link to 25% off your order today and anytime you order in the next year. I'll also leave you a link where you can download a free ebook with 101 uses for essential oils. You'll find that in the show notes too. If you've enjoyed this journey and want more simple yet powerful wisdom in the areas of integrative health, nutrition, and essential oils, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on our next episode. Remember, your life should sparkle. It should be exhilarating, energized, and filled with that effervescent sizzle that propels you to a brilliant, vivacious life. And we can increase the sparkle in your life through integrative nutrition, health and wellness coaching, and essential oils. Until next time, sparkle on, and don't forget to sprinkle a little sparkle everywhere you go. Ciao.